With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's begin with the question and in this question it says that 8 drops of water each of radius 2 mm are falling through a terminal velocity of 8 cm per second. So if they collapse and form a single drop, then the terminal velocity of the combined drop will be. Okay, so let's begin with this question. Suppose the radius of eight single drops is having small r and radius of the bigger drop is capital R. Since the eight drops combining and forming a bigger drop, that means they have the same volume. So from this we can say that volume of small drop that means eight small drop will be equal to the volume of the bigger drop okay so when we further simplify this we will get the value of r and that will come out is equal to 2 r <coughs> okay so this this is the value or the relation between small r and capital r since the small drop of water is getting the terminal velocity and by formula terminal velocity is equal to 2 by 9 r square into density of the drop minus density of the medium into g and this is divided by nita which is the coefficient of viscosity right so if you see clearly this equation is having rho of the drop will is not going to change, rhodes of the medium is not going to change, g is not going to change, and eta is also not going to change. So with this we can see that vt is equal to k r square, or we can say terminal velocity is proportional to r square or the radius of the drop. <coughs> okay, so if we suppose that the terminal velocity of a small drop is v1 and the bigger drop is v2. So we can say that v1 is given in the question that is 8 centimeter per second and we have to calculate the uh, terminal velocity of the bigger drop. So let's solve this. Now with this with the above equation we can say that v1 by v2 is equal to r square by capital R square. So further when we solve this the value of v1 is given 8 so this is v2 so it is this is v2 and this is v2 and a small r square capital r is already we have calculated is equal to 2r that means it's 2r and it's whole square so when we further solve this we get 8 by v2 is equal to 1 by 4 and finally, when we get the value, we get V2 is equal to 8 into 4, that is 32 meter per, sorry, centimeter per second. So this is the answer of this question where the bigger drop will acquire the velocity of 32 centimeter per second. So this is about this question. Thank you. And the answer or the correct answer of this question is the option one that is 32 centimeter per second. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.